All right, what is up, guys? My name is Curator. Welcome back to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy, and this will be the part seven. Yeah, so uh, I've been brewing Wigglewell potion, you know, ever since we. I forgot. I totally forgot that I turned on heart mode. So yeah, even the spider hit hard. The spiders, man. Damn. You know. <laughs> but before we begin. Previously, on Hogwarts Legacy. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you. And your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Can it be? Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. So yeah, in the previous part, we helped with Mr. Ollivander, I'm sorry, we helped with Mr. Ollivander to find his alum one. Well, the culprit was Richard Jackdaw. We found and, uh, let me see, we solved his puzzle by placing the statues on its place. And then suddenly we just flew up above. Well... <laughs> He got his head sliced off, man. What a noob. So yeah, after we found all of... No, after all of that adventure that we... Ventured into the cave. The stance of spiders though. I've, I freaking hate spiders. We finally got into a big ass room. With a big ass painting. I mean like, seriously, I think it's like... Two stories high. Damn. Then we met with Percival Raccoon. And that's the recap for part 6. So now, onwards with a new adventure. I want to meet with Sebastian. Let's see. Because he's going to teach us a new spell, Confringo. Sorry, map. Where is he? I know, I know. nearby i mean we can just go straight change my spell i think i want to accurate here wait uh let you also thank you here and then let's see experiments here yeah okay Hey, Sebastian! My boy, how are you? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Oh, really? Right, let's go. This way. Where? 
There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Wait, is this a clock? A grandfather clock? Wait, are you Batman? I'm Batman. I am vengeance. No, 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 that's too, too deep, right? No. I'm vengeance. I'm Batman. Yeah, the only difference is, is Batman unlock it with a piano, right? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Omi we used Wait. to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We okay. used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. That's... 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 That's great, I guess. Revelio. Oh, there's tons of things here, okay. We got money, we got new clothes. What's this? New glasses. Damn. Okay. Uh, Sebastian. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. And Fringo. Ooh. Zoro. Oh, no, 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 no. Got it. <laughs> My bad. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Come on, Fringo. Let me see. It's alright. Uh, yeah. Stick yeah. to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Oh, the range is far. I like it. Let me see how fucking you go. Oof. Damn. I do love me some fire spell. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. 
No, I'm ready for more spells like this, This eh? is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh, sure, man. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yeah. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Sure. Thanks, man. Thanks for the spell. Man, I love this Good spell. Oh! Yeah, the reason why I trust him so much, because he's been so nice, right? Yeah. Basically, you show me, I show him. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> My bad. What was the phrase? Show me yours and I show you mine? Yeah. Oh, damn. What's this? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. Him. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh... Shall we see? Stumble upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? Uh, you no, breathe no. a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Oh. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You threaten me? Oh my god. Thank god you're blind. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I, just... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I might slap the shit out of you, but since you're blind, I'ma let it pass. Damn, what a nasty attitude he had. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw something, guys.
who you're supposed to be. What up, boy? Thank you, boy. Uh, what's our next class build? Wait, our next quest, my bad. Flight test. <gasps> okay, we definitely need to go to Hogsmeade, right? This is Hogsmeade, right? After it. Uh, gonna get a broom. Damn. Yes. Oh. Gimme, so gimme, give gimme. Give I need that broom. I'm better go one. Open. Oh, Revelio. Wonderful. Hang on. Ugh. It is that. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hell yeah. I'll have to look Sounds down. quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. How much does it cost? What are we looking for today? A broom. Oh, 600, okay. Amber Dash. That Wind item wisp. is of the highest quality. Is that a lantern? Oh, wow, that... That would... That would be useful, right, for a night? House broom. That item is of the highest quality. This is another lantern as well. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, this is good. I like this. Wind You'll wisp. be thrilled with that broom. <sighs> I promise you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Let me sell most of my item here. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds worth to try, yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Mm. Yeah, uh, before we You're begin... Back. Nice to see you again. Oh, Quidditch goggles, alright. I mean, before we begin with this quest, uh, let me head to J. Pippins, right? Because uh, in order to learn the pulse, we need Maxima... Wait. I forgot the potion. Let me see. Uh, focus potion. Maxima and Edurus. Edurus? Edurus? Ududurus. I always forgot. Where is it? Let me see. Mr. J. Pippin. J. Pippin. J. P oh, there's tons of side quests here. Follow the butterflies. Okay. Uh. All right, Mr. Pippin. I'm coming. Oof. And this dodge roll is sick. Did I saw something here? Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, let's purchase some potion from Mr. Pippin. And we can go ahead. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? Uh, let me buy something first. What can I do for you today? How much does this cost? Focus potion. Thunder brew. Uh, we can buy one. Yeah. Let me see. Maxima. Thunder brew. And focus. Mm. Let's get focus first, yeah? A wise decision. Thank you. Oh. You need one of this. No. Maxima, yeah. The maxima is good, right? Ah, grab this while we can. A wise decision. Address. Thank you. Just in case. Focus. Okay. That's good. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Uh Mr. Pippin. Okay, I have acquired all of the potions. So it's time to test it out. Hmm. I need to go back to Hogwarts, right? So you might as well walk. Wait, how do I zoom this? Never mind. We can test our broom, we can walk to school. Hey. Life is simple. So yeah. Let me see. Hogwarts map. Actually, <laughs> let me see quest. Yeah, my bad. Like this. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, check the potion. Two. Duck, duck box tongue. Oh damn! What's this? Focus potion. Maxima. Uh, wait, let it... Oh god. <laughs> oh. Come here. You're not running away from me. Oh. Okay, let me see. Hell yeah. This is cool. Yeah, I love it. What's this? Oh, <gasps> whoa, so cute. A hairball. <laughs> okay, let me see. Where should we explore? I think we should fight some enemies, right? Yeah, in order to. Oh, what's this? Okay. Spy spiders again are oh, damn, I'm sick and tired of this. Let me check the quest first. What does he need? Focus potion. Let me see. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, focus potion. Alright. Whoa, okay. Okay. Sorry, wrong spell. Okay. He says simultaneously, right? My goodness. Hang on. Wait. Oh. This. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are getting on my nerves. Complete it. Oh, oh. You son of a. Rebellion. 
Okay, that... I really need to work on my... <laughs> battle timing? Yeah. That's... Oh, what's this? Incendi yeah. Okay, we've done what Professor Shop wants us to do. So, yeah. That's good enough. Let me see. Next will be Imelda, right? Imelda, flight test. Yep. Yeah, let me see here. I remember here it has a monster, right? I wonder who is it. Oh, this is the down bong. Okay. Right, big boy, come here. Confringo. Accio. <laughs> Do we got his tongue? Yeah. Okay. Let's do some quidditch. Flight tests in order to get some upgrades. So yeah. Hey you, Ravenclaw. I've got a name, okay? My name is Creator Spectre. Amelda Rays? I'll be weak sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Arrogant. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Silliness. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Arrogant much? Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. I like it. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I remember, Krita. Steer left, right. Up, down, right. Okay. Go. Made it. Okay, 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 okay. I got this, right? I got this. Uh -huh. I got this. Now that's more like it. I got this. I got this. Come on, Creedy. That was a close one. Okay. No, we don't need that. Okay, that's good, that's good. Success. Wait, how far and wide? Oh sh Okay, we got it. Did I hit a balloon? Okay. Got this, I got this. This is rather fun. Get it? I think so. Man, the controlling is weird. I don't blame the controller, I blame the player. Brilliant. Hell yeah! In your face, Imelda. You arrogant prick. I got you now. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? Uh, the 
guess not. Y you must have cheated. You. Shut oh. up. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Earn your respect? I don't want it. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There's a bunch of things that I hate in the world. Arrogant people is one of them. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna fast travel there. Since we completed um, professors, I don't know, professors, <laughs> professor shop assignment. So yeah, after this, we can head back to professor shop. Professors. <laughs> Rebellion. Where is that? Here. Oh, there you go. Oh, man. It's this thing. Well, not today. Not today. You're oh, you're back. With something to report, I hope. Yeah, I beat a medal. Uh, <laughs> Imelda's ass, man. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Yeah. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Thank you. Hmm. How Rebellion. do you the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Spin witches spotting nits. Oh, that's cool. Eto, let me see. How much cash have we got? Inventory. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh! Oh, I forgot about Mr. Alvender. Wait. What? Oh, yeah, we need to get a book first. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. Should we got here? Let me get more potion and then we hit to Professor Shop, right? Right here. No. No, Greater, come on. Better than this. Rebellion. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Oh, whoa, again, there's more? What the well? <laughs> do, we, do we need a lore on what the well? Oh, let me see. It's a waypoint. Market for potions, are we? Yes, sir. What can I do for you today? Let me get focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. No, thank I hope you, to sir. See you again. Farewell for now. Goodbye. 
All right, let me get a new spell. A bit too far, I think. No, no, I think it's left here, right? Yeah. That was it. That's it. Oh. Why is here? What? Oh, we can make it. All right. How long is this? Okay. Can sure. Let me do this. Wait. Yes. I am here. Oh, we need to attend his class. I forgot. Potion making. I wonder why he's limping though. Okay, that's cool. Is the Thunderbro My goodness girl. That's a lot of potion. How are your assignments coming along? Ah, uh, it's been good. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. It pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice. Sorry. Should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the hall. Also. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell. In a screen. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, Professor Shop. Can I have ask you a question? Why are you limping? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi. Alright, with the puzzle obtained, we can proceed with the main quest. Let me see. Room of requirement. Huh? Okay. Let's go. Creature induced injury. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. <laughs> Another assignment? We just completed one. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What do we need? Invisibility potion and Thunder Brew. Oh, this is gonna take a while. So, yeah. Defindo. Oh, yeah, we got talent, right? Obviously, fire spell. Hell yeah. Uh, up here, okay. Let's meet with Professor Weasley. Oh. Thank you. Rebellion. Oh, whoa. That's the universe, right? In a room? Hey, him. Wait. Here goes nothing. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Hey, oh, now what's happening? What is room of requirement exactly? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! 
I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. She seems happy. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, okay. Revelio. You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, ma'am. Will do. Okay. All right. Evanesco. Evanesco. We shall put it right. Yeah. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll Was note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Hey, ma'am. Sure. Yeah, I was about to ask her. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. This I place is huge. I where that had got to. Okay. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. Hey, let's explore. Oh, oh shit. Son of a down. Some of us are trying to rest. Shut up. Hmm. We can't go there. Whoa. Wait. Isn't this? A statue that uh, Dumbledore speak behind it before? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not too sure though. Maybe. Akio. Hey, you weird. <laughs> Why do we need this in the first place? Revelio. Uh, can we climb? Right. Oh yeah, we got a new spell. Right? Also. Yeah, what's the point of the spell, right? I need some core. Same one. Let's see. Wait, what? Revelio. Can move this chair, right? Oh my goodness. No, I'm lost. Oh yeah, we can move the chair. Stop them. Shut up. Shut up, you. No, not uh that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Revelio. It offended. The room thought I needed a buff. 
Cheeky things. Is this a grinder? Whoa, 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 that... Whoa, what the hell, Lantern? Reminds me of a Lunar New Year. Cool. Okay. So much interesting things here. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps oh. you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Said that. Accio. What are we pulling for? Whoa, can we get this broom? Ah, oh, damn. Revelio. If only, huh? Wait. Oh, okay. Must be some sort of puzzle. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a detour for a while. Check. Where are you? Damn, there's so many items here. Can I use... Akio. Yep. I was right. <laughs> Revelio. Shit. Okay, there you go. Akio. Gotta aim, greater. You gotta aim. Nice. Oh my. Why are we pulling this? Incendio! Eh? Accio! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. It's a chess. Can I get it? Oh, we can't. Hmm. Oh yes, we can. Okay, I need to align myself. And just yep. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, uh, onwards. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Seems dig right, dig. Hey, Dick. You, Dick. <laughs> Yikes! Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Dick will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Dick. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Dick was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Dick was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke Morning has been too. a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Oh, I an old friend, you. huh? We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Oh, really? Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. 
Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. In the room, room will do the rest. With PC of a monster. No, it doesn't work. Nah, no, just kidding. <laughs> This room is really a mess. Oh, nicely done. Yeah. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. <laughs> Look, oh, I how happy I am. To seeing what you do with the space. Yes, ma'am. Ah. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. Identify. Huh? I don't have anything for this at the moment. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Yeah. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Hey. Oh, okay. New spell. Shape of a cup. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Conjuring spell. Hey! Um, potting table. Okay. Okay, I think we should put it here. Yep. Should be good. Next will be potting. Okay. Yellow. Yep. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Requirement. Okay. Got chairs. <laughs> Wait. 
Decorating interior. Altering spell. We learn a new spell again. Okay. Whoa. Three spells in one day? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. How much do we need? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. It was my potting table right there. Damn ass hero. Okay. So she wants me to do... What exactly? Table, seating, rugs, furniture, decoration... Kanjo wall decoration and floor decoration. Roger Dan. everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Hey, let's begin. Oh, it's an arrow. What? Okay. Just Altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. To customize it. Okay. Uh, alter the size of the. Okay. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Hey. Okay, this look bougie. Yeah, like this. This place might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Ambiance? Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? What's appealed to me? Huh? Oh, a moonlit ambience. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, Deke can use magic as well. Oh wow, this is a great place to sleep, man. Comfy as hell. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. 
Okay. Oh, we got another room. All right. Damn. What a fortunate student, man. Get this whole place by himself. Damn. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Yes, ma'am. I will. Thank you so much. Wow. Let me check that room. How big it is. Whoa. This place is huge. Okay. Um, I guess that is it for today, guys. We got a room for ourselves, man. The things that we can do in the future. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like the video. So, if you do like the video, leave a like and a subscribe. It will help me tremendously. So yeah, have a good one guys. Bye-bye.